Welcome to this video lecture. Myself Fatul Kumar, working as an assistant professor in Department of Computer Science, Rajiv Gandhi Memorial, Government College, Jindanagar. In this video lecture, I will discuss about data integrity rules or data integrity constraints. So, in case of relational database, integrity rules are very important for good database design. So, data integrity actually refers to the correctness and accuracy of data in the database so data integrity constraint they provide mechanism for ensuring the correctness and accuracy of data in the database so these rule restrict authorized users from performing operations that result in loss or damage of data consistency so <coughs> uh, there are different kinds of data integrity rules uh, available like we have domain uh, constraint or domain uh, rules we have key constraint or key rules and we also have refresh referential key constraint or referential key rules so firstly I will discuss about domain constraints so what is domain a domain is a particular set of atomic values so domain is particularly a set of atomic values so the word atomic here means that each value in the domain is indivisible that is suppose we have a value of date of uh, value or a attribute date of birth and its value is suppose 10 11 1990 so <coughs> we have a date of birth as a attribute and the the value that it takes is the date and date in is in between suppose it will take the date in between uh, in between from 1 1 1900 to uh, current date so this attribute date of birth is set its domain ranging from 1 1 1900 to the current date if we uh, just insert another date suppose we inserted we have inserted 1 1 1897 so this value is out of domain for this attribute date of birth and it can't be taken or uh, it is not uh, not authorized to enter in this uh, attribute date of birth similarly the uh, <coughs> the atomic means each value in the domain is indivisible also this is a, a partic uh, particularly this value is a atomic value we can't further divide this value we can't further divide this value again so this is a atomic uh, this uh, attribute takes a atomic value also uh, it can't take uh, composite or multi valued attributes composite means when we divide a attributes and two or more attributes and the multi value uh, attributes means if the attribute uh, has more than one value suppose we have a phone number as a multi value attributes uh, so it contains more than one value so <coughs> in case of uh, domain constraint since the domain uh, is a set of atomic values so it means composite and multi value attributes are not allowed in this domain constraint so what is the formal definition of this domain uh, uh, constraint rule so a relation r uh, would be legal only if for each tuple t belongs to r and for each value t of a of i in tuple it satisfy t a of i belongs to the domain a of i else the relation is invalid suppose uh, we have a uh, domain or a attribute date of birth 
so it takes the value 1900 to the current date and if we insert uh, this uh, date as a date of birth attribute in the tuple so it doesn't satisfy the domain of that attribute and hence the relation is invalid all the values appearing under each attribute must be from the domain of that attribute suppose mm, uh, we have this example in this example we have a attributes id then name semester and age and uh, suppose uh, we know age is in the form of integer integer means it takes the value from 0 to uh, from 1 to uh, any value up to 200 so on so uh, here in the first uh, row uh, this is a valid row as the age is 17 if you look at this id 1004 the name is morgan and the semester here is 8th and age is a now age is always be in the integer form so it is not allowed as uh, the domain of this uh, age attribute is in between 1 to uh, suppose 100 so here the value here uh, we have added is a and a is not in the domain of this attribute age so a is not allowed similarly we have another example in this example we have uh, three attributes one is a employee id other is a name and other is a phone but in case of phone attributes uh, suppose the employee name is vikas datta and employee id is Zero 01 so uh, it has a multi valued attribute uh, uh, multi values for this attribute phone so this one is first phone number and this is the second phone number so this is not allowed as uh, the attribute must have a atomic in nature so uh, atomic means does not allow multi values so in the above uh, this relation name is a uh, composite attribute and phone is a multi-valued attribute so it is violating domain constraint also name here is a composite attribute at it contains first name and the last name so name is a composite attribute uh, consists of two attributes first name and last name and phone contains two values so it is violating the domain constraint rule and hence this relation is invalid so this relation is invalid next uh, integrity constraint we have a key constraint and these are also called as uniqueness constraint since they ensure that every tuple in the relation should be unique so uh, the first rule here is the the primary key cannot have a uh, either a duplicate or null values so if the primary key um, exist in a relation it does not have duplicate or null values also a relation can have multiple keys or a candidate key uh, out of which we can choose one of the key as a primary key we don't have any restrictions on choosing the primary key out of the candidate keys but it is suggested that to go with the candidate key with the lesser or minimal number of minimal number of attributes so just select that attribute that has minimal number uh, select that candidate key as a primary key that has minimum minimal number of attributes or less number of attributes so what is the formal des definition of this key constraint uh, so we have a relation suppose r and the attributes in the relation is from a1 a2 and an so for each key k of uh, this relation r uh, and for each legal relation r uh, in the relation capital R and for each tuple pair it must satisfy T1 of K is not equal to 
टू ऑफ के सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग वन एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस डेफिनेशन सपोज वी हैव ए रिलेशन ऑफ टू एट्रीब्यूट वन इज एम्प्लॉय आई डी ई आई डी एंड द सेकेंड एट्रीब्यूट हेयर इज एम्प्लॉय नेम सो द फर्स्ट आई डी सपोज इज वन एंड नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय इज सपोज बिकास द सेकेंड एट्रीब्यूट हेयर इज एम्प्लॉय आई डी इज टू एंड द नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय सपोज इज सुनील एंड द थर्ड एट्रीब्यूट इज सपोज Uh, also one and its value is uh, suppose x y z. Now employ uh, the in key constraint say that uh, this must be as employ ID is a primary key, so this must be a unique. but in this case for this employee id the name here is vikas and for this employee id this tuple name here is xyz but the key is same so this is this violate the condition as uh, this condition is violated so suppose here is 3 and name is xyz so now this condition is not violated as uh, uh, the key is different here three is different from one and as a result uh, this key constraint validate suppose we have another example here uh, in this uh, example we have three uh, attributes account number customer name and a bank balance and the name of this relation is bank account relation here Uh, suppose account number is a primary key and the value is here is null but according according to key constraint rule this should not be null this must be other than null so this is not allowed in this kind of table next example we have uh, suppose we have a uh, table ma uh, made up of father's name last name address and the telephone number and here uh, these two forms the uh, primary key that is father's name and last name here the first tuple uh, or first row exist as father name and last name both exist uh, in the second case the last name is null but in this in the case uh, of key constraint this should not be null so this does not Uh, uh, this is not a valid entry in the uh, in this table next we have a null uh, constraint as a father name and uh, uh, and sharma in the last name so null is not we the entry in father's name as father name is the uh, one of the attribute of the primary key in the next we have null in both case of father name and last name so this is not also we valid entry as father name and last name both are the attributes of primary key so this does not uh, um, this is not a valid entry and these three rows are not allowed in the key constraint according to key constraint rule uh, in uh, to enter in the relation next integrity const constraint we have a referential integrity constraint and it is also known as foreign key constraint and it states that if a foreign key exist in a relation then each foreign key attribute data value must match the primary key data value in the other relation that it references otherwise if it doesn't match the primary key data value then the foreign key attribute data value must be wholly null so uh, suppose we have uh, two relations one is a employee relation and other is a department relation and in case of employee relation we have a primary key employee id and 
uh, we have also a department ID here but in case of department relation we have a department ID as a primary key uh, <coughs> and it, it also act as a foreign key for this relation department uh, employed relation so now uh, this department relation uh, is a contains a primary key so it is a prime relation and this relation that contains a foreign key is a child relation so it is called as child relation and the relation that contains a primary key so it is a prime relation so here department is a prime relation and child is uh, employee is a child relation as it contains a foreign key now uh, you can see here uh, in this case there are four departments uh, naming from D1, D2, D3 and D4 and again in this case uh, we have seen uh, in the differential integrity const constraint if uh, the in, uh, primary key exists then the value also exists in the foreign key so D1 exists in the primary key so the value of department that should be D1, D2, D3, D4 uh, D to D3 and uh, if it doesn't exist so it can be null so this is also a valid entry or ok entry as um, this employee E5 uh, uh, has null value in department ID and name is Nana this means that this depart uh, this employee E5 having name Nana is not assigned any department yet but in uh, the sixth entry E6 that is a E6 employee ID and the department ID is D5 so it doesn't match with this department ID as department ID is from D1 to D4 there is no D5 entry in this department relation so this is not allowed so this is invalid entry in this uh, uh, relation employee relation according to referential integrity constraint so thanks for watching this video lecture